Hi, I'm Doug Kriebel, and today we're going to talk about friction. In a pump system, the head developed by the pump is made up of three components. The pressure head, the elevation head, and friction losses. Friction is the energy loss due to the resistance to the water as it flows through the piping system. This is made up of shear stresses and turbulence at the walls of the pipe. It's expressed in feet of liquid. How do you calculate these losses? We address them as two separate sets of losses. One is the losses through the pipe itself, and the other are called minor losses, which are the losses through the fittings, valves, elbows. Included with the fittings, you must also account for any losses through process equipment, which might have losses such as heat exchangers, filters, and cyclones. A lot of research has been done over the years, but the design equation presented by Darcy is still valid. The friction loss is equal to the length over the diameter times the velocity head times the friction factor. The units are in feet and seconds, and the friction factor is a dimensionless number. For laminar flow, Reynolds number is less than 2000, the friction factor is simply 64 divided by the Reynolds number. In turbulent flow, the roughness of the pipe is important. A Moody diagram, which was developed in 1944, to calculate the friction factor based upon Reynolds number and the roughness of the pipe is utilized. The relative roughness of the pipe is determined by the ratio of epsilon over D, where epsilon is the relative roughness of the pipe, it's found in tables, and D is the inside diameter of the pipe. This can be used for any liquid in a full circular pipe. There are two popular methods for determining minor losses. One is using equivalent lengths. The other is using velocity heads and loss coefficients. For equivalent lengths, we use published tables to find the equivalent length of the fitting as if it were a straight piece of pipe. These equivalent lengths are then added to the straight pipe length and then used with the friction factor to find the total friction loss. The other method is to determine the velocity head of the fluid, that's V squared over 2G sub C, and then multiply it by the published constant K for the particular fitting. These methods have been utilized to design various commercial computer programs and spreadsheets. If you do a lot of friction calculations, or you get involved in very complex pumping systems, you may consider using some of these programs. Also, to simplify calculations, specific tables have been developed for water at 60 degrees Fahrenheit and clean steel pipe. One of the more popular ones is found in the Cameron Hydraulic Data Book, and we've used a simple system to illustrate this method. From the book, for a 4-inch new steel pipe at 200 gallon per minute, the friction loss is 2.25 feet per 100 foot of pipe. So you multiply this by the 800 feet of pipe and you have 18 feet of pressure drop. Using loss coefficients, the minor losses are 3.2 feet, which is added to the pipe loss to determine the total friction loss and of course, any process equipment, losses have to be added to these. This information should help you understand friction losses and how to estimate them. In the event you have any questions, please contact us.